Hello everyone, it's Nico here and I'm, today I'm going to show you how you can play Heroes of Mag and Magic 3 on your Raspberry Pi 3. So to do that you must install Windows 10 on your P3. Yes, it's possible you can't run the full desktop Windows 10 on your P. So there is a tutorial on my YouTube channel where you can check it. It's really easy. So then you install it. I'm going to show you that you are really on the P3. So in the task manager, if you can see it, why well, can click? Okay, uh, my mouse is bugging a little. So in the task manager, as you can see in the performance, so the CPU is actually the CPU of the P3, and also as you can see, we got one gigs of RAM because it's a Raspberry Pi so when you install Windows 10 you must uh, install also Heroes 3 of Magic Magic you can install it from GOG or whatever you want it will work but if you run directly Heroes 3 without modding it I'm going to show you uh, it will not run it will just crash you do a blue screen because uh, the P3 can support full screen in Windows 10 so you must install this mod that I'm going to show you as you can see this is a mod that uh, makes the game in HD and also when you install it you can play at window mode so you can I'm going to launch it to show you so as you can see at this menu you choose 32 bits stretchable you make the lowest resolution that you can make the game will run smoother and you disable the full screen mode then you can play your game so it's gonna it's gonna sh play in uh, in window mode and then it starts at window mode you can't play at full screen but not before because it will crash and if you play at full screen there is a small chance that the game can crash so it can crash sometime and I don't know what, why but it can crash even at full screen so I'm going to show you a little how the game works uh, works at the P3 so it's smooth, it's playable that's not the problem the sound is really okay so I'm waiting to start it so we got the complete edition so I'm going to do a new game a single scenario so it can be a little slow when it's loading maps but uh, that's okay because we are running on a micro SD card and uh, that's very slow to start even Windows 10 it took uh, 5 minutes so blah 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 the game start so uh, we're going to take this so the game the only, the only way when the game is a little slow it's when you're on the map because of the different effect of the games but after that when you're doing some um, some battle or even if you are uh, in your castle uh, it will not lag it will not lag at all so I'm going to show you if I can just take this observatory so at the next turn so in the castle as you can see it's lag it's not lags uh, it's, it's really smooth so it's really playable even at multiplayer and then so can be a little slow when the CPU is gaming but uh, that's not a big problem oh we got multiple enemies okay so that's why it's slow so we're going to to make it at full screen to show you how it works but before that we are going to see in the task manager uh, how much it takes from the CPU and all that things so 
it's a little slow as you, as you can see but it's really playable so okay so it's about 50 percent the game takes uh, 25 percent of the CPU and 18 megabytes of RAM so that's really nothing so uh, we're going to do a little battle against the gargoyles so as you can see it's really fast, it's really smooth, that's really not a problem you can play it, uh, that's really not a problem and that's running on a Raspberry Pi 3 and Windows 10 is running on it so that's really great to see that because uh, as, as you may know, XGR is really, really expensive for P3. It's even uh, most most expensive than a P3. It's uh, 30 bucks, 40 bucks, I can't remember. But that's really, really, really expensive. And the tree and uh, this method, it's really inexpensive because uh, it's uh, literally free. You just need a micro SD card and maybe the game, but uh, it's really not uh, big. So I'm going to make the display at full screen, so as you can see, the game is really fine. But when you play at full screen, it can crash, so maybe we can see the game crashing, we'll see. And when, when we make the game at full screen, it can lag a bit, uh, but that's really not a problem even in battle. Uh, as I repeat, the only way when it's lag, it's just in uh, in the menu when you're working and, and that's all. So we're going to retreat to show you how it works. So the animation are okay, so it runs uh, normally. So you can play at full screen, but it's a little lag as you can see. So you. I, I tested to play at full HD and that's even worse so play really at this small resolution we're on a P3 and the GPU is not don't, is not working so you must play at a lower resolution and that's mirac that's miraculous that the game can run only on the CPU with the as consistency it's really slow, really slow, slow but if I remember I can make it fast so we're going to make it really fast to see how it looks like okay so I need to do something up so it's just laggy here but even if you're just playing but that's not the problem the, the big problem is just that uh, it's unstable when you're playing at full screen mode but uh, if, if that is just the problem that's not a big problem to play the game because uh, the most important are in the battle and something like that when so, you must got the animation to see but that's not a big problem if uh, when you're working it's uh, a bit laggy but remember we're on a P3, it's running on a Raspberry Pi 3 and uh, that's uh, wonderful that it can make that even if uh, we're running it on Windows 10 and not on Raspbian you have to remember that and Windows 10 ARM is emulating x86 so that's really really great so I'm going to exit the game and uh, to, to see what shows the taskbar so and it's a little slow but it's okay it's okay so as you can hear I not a really big uh, I, I don't speak really well English but uh, I can speak a little so if I can improve my English tell me in the comments mm -hmm. how I can okay thanks you my phone so if you can help me to improve my English you can uh, tell me directly in the comments it can be great so we processed what it tell me so it's running at about 50% when we are gaming and that's really great so it can run a better maybe bad some better games 
and RAM was at about uh, 360 megaoctets of RAMs. So the, gun, the game runs really great. And I'm going to do some other tutorials like playing Counter Strike or something like that on your P3 without paying exagere. So that can be, I think, funny. Even if uh, performance are not here, it can be just funny to show you how it works or for benchmarks or something like that. If you like the video, you can like it, you can subscribe if you want. And uh, if you can help my English, you can tell me in the comments how I can improve. Thank you for watching and have a good year.